This tutorial will show you how to debug a web service program that you're offering from your iSeries from WDSC using service entry points. This is an alternative to the approach of uh, going into the green screen and uh, doing a start service job on the job that you think is currently being um, run. So to start off, first we need to locate our program that we wish to uh, set a service debug entry point on. In this case we're going to go ahead and set it on RxS 3B, right click, select set service entry point, and that'll go ahead and create an entry over here in the service entry point view. Let me just expand this out a little bit. Next I'm going to show you uh, how it won't work right now just based upon the settings. So uh, using the web service tester we're going to go ahead and execute RxS 3B and notice that it did not uh, cause the debug iSeries debugger to invoke in WDSC. The reason being is that CGI jobs are not run under your profile. In this case I'm logged in as uh, AARON, Aaron. What we need to do to rectify that is go ahead and modify uh, the service entry point to run under an appropriate profile. So we're going to right click, select modify, and then we're going to run it under the HTTP profile which is as follows QTMHHTP1 hit OK now our service entry point is modified with that user profile and now we can go ahead and run the web service again I'm going to go ahead and click the get it button now you'll see in the background it's starting up WDSC and it's initializing the debug. First thing I like to do is clean up this mess. So let's just do move tab group down to here, move tab group over to here. Now I can actually see my screen. I'm going to go ahead and uh, now it, it found my program and I'm ready to debug. I'm going to hit F6 uh, to step through, not F10 mind you, this is uh, WDSC and I'm going to get an error. Uh, the reason for this particular error is that update production files was specified as star no and I'm going to show you how to fix that. Uh, go to window, preferences, run debug, iSeries debug and then check mark the update production file hit OK. Um, when that error happened though that also created a message in work active jobs so we gotta go ahead and uh, get rid of that job. So we're just gonna do a 7 cancel and now uh, it tells us the program's been terminated Now that we've got update production file star yes, we can go ahead and run uh, the program again. It's going to return me to WDSC, uh, place the debug line at the top of the source member, and uh, we did not get an error that time, and I was just stepping through the program one line at a time. That's how you debug via service entry points using WDSC. Um, that's it. Bye.